Hi guys, and welcome to Watch It Wednesday, Finish It Friday, episode 68. This is, of course, the Finish It Friday episode. Let's go back to where we left off on Wednesday. So, and you gotta, for some reason, now that I've gotten rehooked back up with many cams, my focusing takes a little while to get back to where it's supposed to be. So I apologize for that. So anyway, let me go ahead and grab that out of the way. My desk is kind of a mess. Hopefully nothing falls down. So let's talk about what where we left off. So we have our base card. We have our two layers. We have our vellum sheet. We have our square. And we're going to do a little bow after a little bit. So let's go ahead. I am not going to do any sentiments on the front of my cards on this one. Just because a lot of times you don't want the sentiments. You want the, um, you want the, let me put this over here. That's a little distracting to have in that corner. Sorry. You want to have uh, just a plain card so that when you decide to give it out, you can put whatever you want to on the inside for your uh, greeting. So let's go ahead. What we're going to use on these is this wonderful floral folder. It is in, I'm pretty sure it's the, the January to April mini catalog. Let me make sure. Yes, it's called the Layered Florals 3D. It is a beautiful, beautiful folder. Let me go ahead and put it up in the cat. That's how it looks in the catalog. It is just a beautiful folder. So all of my cards are being made with that folder today. So first things first, I'm going to put both my vellum and my layer in this folder. So I'm going to do here for that. And here I want that to be a little bit centered so we'll go ahead and put that there all right and we're going to run this through our cut emboss machine so let me put some of this down here so it's not so loud uh here's my little let me get this don't have it in my hands let me go ahead and put this down here and bring this down make sure that it still looks like my vellum and my cardstock are still in the right position and let's go through here so now when you run vellum through an embossing folder it is going to create let me close this and put this away just so it's out of the way so it's going to create on that vellum a white embossed look. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's just the vellum cardstock and running through on an embossing folder. Okay, so let me put that over here for now. Then we have this, which is going to be our focal point. Now since I did this, I have the starry sky i'm sorry the orchid oasis i think i'm going to use that for my um for my coloring so let me grab my orchid oasis now of course this is probably going to be very juicy i haven't used it a lot it is going to be retiring at the end of april but let's just go ahead i want to lightly just lightly scan across there i'm trying not to get anything on the cardstock below, but you will get a little, just so you know. I'm trying to get that little bit of the flower there. Oh, shoot. I went a little bit too close to the edge, but I think we're okay. I'll just leave it like that. All right. Good thing about the glass mat, and I know sometimes it's a little bit of a shine, depending on what lights I'm using. Um, but that's a good thing you can wipe it up. So there is my focal point. Now, whenever I run anything through an embossing folder, 
I'll usually use uh, either my tear and tape or I'll use green glue just because you've broken down those fibers. All right. And hopefully I don't get, because there's probably still a good collection of ink on there. So let's go ahead and just leave it like that. Now, here's the thing about putting your vellum on. A lot of things are going to show through on the vellum. All right. And you also want to decide which side you like better. That's the reverse side. That's the top side. I think I'm going to stay with the top side. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stay with the, the bump side up. So what you need to be careful here, because it will show through. So what I like to do is, let me get into my little corner here. Oh, I had left it out. I will use a sponge. Now let me go ahead and grab out. Oh, I still have it left there from last weekend. Let me grab out one of my mat, my silicone mats. Because what you want to do here is you just want a very thin layer of glue on the back side of this. All right, let me move that off to the side too. You want to get that right into the corner and press down. Oops, shoot. Sorry and press down. You do want to hang on to it for a little while. It is going to take just a second for that, but then it's going to be stuck down. Okay. And then what I'm going to do with this is I feel like you need to break up a little bit between the cardstock. So I'm going to put a little glue on here. Now, if you wanted to, you could have put some stamp and seal behind here. Um, I'm not going to do that because I've already just put that glue down. Now you have different layers here, so you need to hang on to it for a sec. You could pop this up if you wanted to. Um, in fact, I think I will. Sorry. Oh, I'm right by the microphone. I keep forgetting my microphone's over there now. Sorry about that, guys. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's get a little bit in the middle there. Peel off those backings. So how's everyone in their area? Getting a lot of snow. Our started overnight. It's supposed to be continuing. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put that right there in the corner like that. Okay, and then I'm going to grab out. This is my... Now, this is actually, I think, the Starry Sky, isn't it? Oh, no, this is the Orchid Oasis. So what I'm going to do is, I always forget, I have to think about it a couple times with my bow easy, um, how it goes. So let's go ahead. I want to put a little bow on there. Let me grab scissors, cut a length off there. Let's see. I think that's about a good size. I don't think I want to go that small. I think I'll go that size. So then what you do with this is... Go around a couple times. You come up and do a loop. Sorry. <laughs> you come up and do a loop. I have a lot of extra here. And then you come up. Here's your loop here. You come up from underneath here. Go through the loop and pull through. Now, 
I should be able to slide it off. Oh no, what did I do? Let me think about this again. You go one, two, three. Oh, you go up here. That's right. You have to make that little. You go up here from the bottom, then go down. Pull this through. I frayed that end, so now it's going to be difficult. So bring this down, then come up and through. There we go. There's my little tight knot. And then you have that. I only did a couple loops. Let me get out my little, these are from many years back. Those of you who still have yours know you love them. We snip off those little ends. Put a little spot of glue down. You could also use a glue dot if you wanted to. I'm putting it right there in that corner. There's just a little bit on there. All right. Go ahead, do that. Let me hold it down for a sec. Put some of this stuff away. Yeah, I've had my bow easy for years. And there you are. Let me get that out of the way. Have such a mess over here. Let me get this, put this on my work desk so you don't see all this extra distracting stuff over here. Okay, so there you are. There's our card for today. How pretty. So that was using the vellum. I need to put a little more in the corner there. So that's using the vellum. I made a couple other examples. First one here. I use that silver foil and then yes I probably shouldn't have I'm mixing silver and gold but I had to use those flat dragonflies and I think they're still back ordered I'm so sorry but I haven't been using them because they have been back ordered but I just I had to put them on this just because I love it so much so this is run through that same embossing folder then this was done on crumb cake cardstock and then I used let me see if the craft white with a dauber so let me show you sorry craft white with a dauber and just daubed on there that white let me put that back in my little drawer you can see how some places I didn't do as good at the dauber as the others. And then on this one here, I did this style instead of horizontal. So, sorry. So this is that tartan paper that's an online exclusive. This is basic white. I scraped, took my boho blue stamp pad and went across the cardstock. Then I took my finger file, nail file, and went across to bring out the white of the cardstock. And then with a finger dauber, I highlighted just a few of the flowers with the moody mauve. And so here I didn't think I needed, since I did it this way, I didn't think I needed anything, any embellishment in that corner. Oops, except for that, that uh, bubble bath cardstock, because I have my three in the Moody Mauve here, so I thought it was good to have that light color to kind of offset this, col this uh, corner that didn't have any color on it. So there's that one. All right, guys, let me go in just a little bit more so you can see it. 
Let me see about how much closer I can get. There we go. Let me bring it down just a little bit now. So there you are. There's, oh, there we go. There's the three cards, exact same folder, just different papers, different techniques. All right, guys, have a great Friday. Be careful with this storm that's going through. Be safe, and we'll see you sometime this weekend. Take care. Bye for now.